From a rundown fire station in India that wanted to go out on its own terms, and a mosque in Indonesia that caught fire and collapsed during renovations, to a seven-story hotel in Taiwan that nearly crushed a man on his scooter, and a corn silo in Indiana that went up in a giant flash of fire. Here are 10 structural failures caught on camera. Indonesia is a very religious country. According to U.S. estimates, 87.2% of the population is Muslim, 7% is Protestant, 2.9% is Roman Catholic, and 1.7% are Hindu. A dominant Muslim population means mosques are plentiful throughout the country. Sadly, they lost one to a raging fire in September of 2022. The Jakarta Islamic Center Mosque is located in North Jakarta, Indonesia, one of five major cities that make up the country's capital region. Workers were doing some renovations when a spark landed on something flammable. The old building went up instantly. Even though hundreds of firefighters were on the scene, they couldn't contain the blaze. All they could do was watch. But things were about to get even worse. Luckily, the building itself contained the collapse. Nobody was standing inside, and all of the firefighters were ultimately okay. Another angle shows firefighters climbing down some scaffolding as smoke rises behind them. As you can see, the rest of the Islamic Center is made of solid stone. It allowed the firefighters to attack it from the inside without worrying about anything else collapsing. One brave camera person was actually inside before the dome collapsed. Here's what it looked like moments before everything fell. Islamic Center kebakaran hari ini Rabu 19 Oktober 2022. Waktu Asar. According to reports, this wasn't the first time the mosque dealt with fire. Back in October of 2002, the dome caught fire during similar renovations. While it didn't collapse, it did take five hours to extinguish. Did leftover damage cause the whole thing to fail 20 years later? We may never know. Hualien City is a small metro on the east coast of Taiwan. It's the most densely populated area in its country, which made this disaster even scarier in October of 2021. A crew was working on the Manbo Hotel, a seven-story building slated for demolition. They had everything gutted and were ready to hit the detonator. That's when gravity decided to take over. Keep your eye on the scooter rider in the blue jacket. Traffic moves steadily through the city. He has no idea that his life is about to flash before his eyes. Without warning, the Manbo Hotel collapses onto the road, narrowly missing our scooter. Early reports said the building landed on the scooter, but our driver, Mr. Wong, called the police to say he was safe. Several other cars weren't so lucky. Thankfully, there was nobody inside. The collapsed hotel also hit a transformer, knocking out power in the local area. One of the demolition subcontractors said the building may have fallen due to earthquakes in the area. The structure was already weak. It wouldn't take much shaking to bring it down. Switz City is a small farming town in southwestern Indiana. It's home to just under 300 people and a family of corn farmers who went viral in 2017. Jordan White and his family own White Farms Incorporated. They specialize in corn, so they know a thing or two about how to grow it, store it, and sell it. On July 31st of 2017, they learned how to light it on fire. The family was out on the farm when they noticed something wrong with their corn silo. It had collapsed on one side, causing some corn to spill from the cracks. Knowing there was nothing they could do to save it, the family decided to record the collapse. Nobody could have predicted what was about to happen next. Yeah, 
She goes. Thankfully, the fire put itself out immediately. The flames didn't reach far enough to burn anybody, but they did feel a split-second heat wave. According to Jordan, the collapsing silo ripped a power box off the wall, causing the spark that ignited the flash fire. Grain dust is extremely fine and very flammable. Thankfully, it doesn't burn long enough for the fire to catch, especially outside. If this happened inside, it would have been a different story. Farming isn't easy, but we will make it work, one of the whites wrote on social media. At least burning all the dust helped with that part of the cleanup. Samut Sakon is a small province in northern Thailand. It's home to over 580,000 people living along or near the Tachin River. What's normally a vibrant coastal region was declared a disaster area when a three-story apartment building collapsed in 2020. About 60 people were in their homes when the foundation suddenly collapsed beneath them. Some were cooking dinner, others were relaxing for the night. Then, in an instant, everyone was running for the door. CCTV cameras around the complex show us how it happened in real time. Keep your eye on the building's foundation. It falls forward a hair and then crashes near the motorcycles. The fences bend backward, and you can see where the support beams snap. From another angle, you can see a massive dust wave shoot from the building. Imagine how heavy that whole thing is. The people inside are lucky it didn't crumble. Cameras inside the building captured everyone's immediate reaction to the collapse. Some people didn't know what was happening. Others hustle for the exit. We're thinking the girl in the pink pajamas was getting ready for bed. The next angle shows the collapse from the first floor. One guy hits the fire alarm before another grabs his girlfriend and books it. Two men hustle back in and try kicking a door down. You can't hear it in the video, but someone is calling for help on the other side. Their door must have gotten stuck when the building fell. As you can see, doors don't break like in the movies. Thankfully, they broke the bottoms and residents could crawl to safety. According to the building owner, the complex was built in 2015 and sat on a foundation that was nearly 70 feet deep. She rehoused her tenants for free and paid for their meals until they could sort things out. The Engineering Institute of Thailand believes the pond you see behind the complex may have compromised the ground and caused the collapse. Luckily, everyone made it out okay. It's unclear if the building could be repaired or if they had to tear it down. Česká Trebová is a small city in the Czech Republic. It's home to about 15,000 people who wave one of the coolest city flags on earth. Just look at this thing. The people of Česká Trebová also enjoy their athletics. So, when a new sports hall opened in the city, everyone wanted to check it out. On January 15th of 2017, 80 people were playing floor hockey inside when they heard something above their heads. Everything seems normal at first, but then the camera starts shaking, and everyone beelines for the door. You can see the roof slowly bending like there's something heavy weighing it down. The last guy makes it out moments before a massive piece falls to the ground. The roof falls slowly, and the lights eventually go out. It eventually blocks the camera, leaving us in total darkness. Thankfully, someone arrived the next day to record the damage. The local governor was furious when he learned what happened and wrote on Facebook that the culprits must be punished. He clearly thought shoddy construction was to blame. Meanwhile, the designer stood by his work. He said there was no reason it should have collapsed, even though the roof had nearly 10 inches of snow. Thankfully, all 80 people inside made it out okay. Maybe they'll try getting the snow off the roof next time instead of assuming it'll hold. Surat, India is the commercial and economic center of the western state of Gujarat. They used to be a major seaport. Today, they're major players in the diamond cutting and textile industry. 
The city itself is home to about 6.9 million people who have seen a lot of change over the years. Rapid urban development means out with the old and in with the new. So when this 30-year-old fire station was deemed too old, demolition teams arrived to tear it down. They were supposed to take it slow and steady, but the fire station had other ideas. Judging by how close everyone was standing, they didn't expect the building to fall. It looks like they were trying to weaken the support beams so they could take it down with explosives. They just cut them a little too much. Thankfully, everyone got out of the way and the driver was safe in his cab. From what we can gather, the fire station sat on the proposed route of a new metro station. It used to serve as a residential quarters for the firefighters, but hadn't been used in years. The Mumbai Goa Highway, also known as National Highway 66, is a 1,000 mile road running down India's west coast. It's a four lane highway connecting Mumbai in the north to Cape Comorin on the southern tip. Unfortunately, conditions on the road aren't perfect. Those poor conditions were on full display in mid October of 2023 when a section of the highway fell on top of Chiplin City. CCTV cameras were rolling early that morning when a massive crack appeared across the road. What happened next was inevitable. It seems like a normal day in Chiplin, a small city of 35,000 people. Suddenly, the bridge collapses but catches itself momentarily. Locals can't believe their eyes as a heavy crane drags the whole thing down. Another angle shows some locals who were closer to the collapse when it happened. Thankfully, the bridge was empty and the area beneath it was clear. According to local reports, a part of the highway had recently collapsed and the crane was there to fix things up. We're thinking the already broken highway couldn't support the crane's weight and crumbled like a Lego set. Notice how the left portion breaks into several small pieces while the right side snaps in half. It's unclear how this bridge was built, but we'd guess poor construction practices had something to do with this accident. This next structural failure comes from an unknown location in Iran. Everyone knew something was about to happen. Pieces had already fallen off during what looks like construction on the building's left side. If we had to guess, somebody dug too close to the foundation. <laughs> We think there's a pit on the other side of that blue top. When the building collapses, you can see a massive debris cloud shoot out like a jet. It throws boxes about 40 feet into the air, causing everyone to run and panic. It looks like this happened sometime between 2020 and 2022. You can see a few people wearing masks in the crowd as they run away. Chaoqing, China is a prefecture level city in Guangdong province. It was once among the most important cities in southern China until the Qing Dynasty. Today, it relies heavily on tourism and is known as a provincial college town. Some of the local kids painted a beautiful mural on a retaining wall in the spring of 2019. Unfortunately, they chose the wrong wall to sink all that effort into. Without warning, the wall collapses on a row of parked cars. The way it lands, it looks like something you'd see in a Tony Hawk game. But 13 owners weren't laughing when they returned to find their cars destroyed. According to the police, 13 cars suffered some cosmetic damage. It doesn't sound like anything was a total loss and nobody was injured during the collapse. The only lucky person was the van owner, who found a few scratches on his hood. It's hard to tell if there's someone inside or if they left the van in neutral instead of parked.
Home to over 20 million people, Karachi, Pakistan is the largest city in the country and the 12th largest in the world. It sits on the southern tip of Pakistan, along the coast of the Arabian Sea. It's considered Pakistan's most cosmopolitan city. And like most major cities, it has its affluent districts and its neglected neighborhoods. On December 30th of 2019, locals in the Ranchor Line neighborhood noticed a massive crack in the side of a six-story apartment building. All the residents evacuated in the nick of time. When they looked back, their precious home was crumbling to the ground. Thankfully, everyone made it out of the building and away from the disaster zone. Dust filled the street, making it hard to see how bad the damage was. The collapsing building also struck some smaller shacks on either side. Disasters like this became commonplace in Karachi. Between 2018 and 2020, four dilapidated buildings collapsed. Meanwhile, the government labeled more than 1,500 buildings as dangerous. We're guessing this wasn't the only dangerous building in the Ranchor line. The neighborhood is one of the oldest in Pakistan. There's nothing worse than watching all your hard work crumble before your eyes. The real challenge is mustering the will to start over. A group of Indian builders were working on a large steel structure when they noticed something was wrong. Unfortunately, one tiny mistake led to a catastrophic domino effect. It looks like the wall closest to the camera wasn't strong enough. The arches on top slowly pushed it forward until it finally fell. Thankfully, the workers noticed in time and were able to climb down. Judging by its size, they'd probably been working on it for weeks, maybe even months. Well, guess it's time to clean up and start over, huh? If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.